Good afternoon, class. This is ECN um, 305 class, Introduction to Econometrics. And so far, so good. We have looked at the definition and concept of econometrics, the relationship between econometrics uh, and other uh, courses such as mathematics for economics, statistics, and economic theory. We have looked at estimation techniques, which we have established uh, the commonly used and the uh, most acceptable uh, method of analysis, which is the ordinary least square regression techniques, which is based on the principle of minimizing the sum of square residua. And through that, we have been able to derive normal equation in the uh, immediate past class. And using the normal equation, the derivation of the normal equation, ap ap applying the uh, matrix method to it, we came up with uh, the formula to estimate our parameters in the uh, formulated model. Today, we are going to be looking at the other way around to it by using the deviation approach. What we derived in the last lecture is uh, the big formula or the uh, capital letter approach to estimating uh, the regression model. So today, we are going to be looking at uh, the deviation method, deviation approach. Now, given a simple regression model to be equal to alpha plus beta x plus u. Now, we have uh, what is called uh, total variation, we have explained variation, and we have unexplained variation. Explained variation is uh, represented by y estimate, and which can also be uh, represented as uh, y estimate minus y bar. So now the normal approach to deriving this equation is we use y. We assume that our estimated y is equal to alpha estimate plus beta estimate. So in that case, we no longer have u. So then we say that y is equals to y estimate plus u. Then u equals to y minus y estimate. But in this case, we are no longer dealing with the big capital. We are dealing with the uh, small capital. So we can say that y estimate now is equal to beta estimate multiplied by x. And this can be proven as thus. Now, y estimate equals y estimate minus y bar. Our y estimate has been established to be this. Then y bar equals to y a alpha estimate then plus beta estimate and x bar. So if we have small y cap to be equal to this, so it means small y cap equals, now the value of y estimate, which is alpha estimate plus beta estimate times x minus, open the bracket, y cap, and the y cap is alpha cap plus beta cap x bar. So then we can open the bracket. We have alpha estimate plus beta estimate s cap uh, x multiplied by alpha estimate minus beta estimate x bar plus alpha estimate cancels out minus. So we have y estimate to be equal to beta estimate x minus beta estimate x bar. Now, beta estimate is common to both sides. So we have y equals beta estimate into bracket x minus x bar. So also, let's remember that but small x equals to y my x minus x bar. 
So it means that we can replace small x with the value of this. So therefore, y estimate equals to beta estimate x. So that is what led us to this. So instead of using normal y estimate that we used, normal this, in the big uh, formula approach, we can use this. So therefore, let's call this equation 1. Then, uh, we call this equation 2. Then, we have this to be equation 3. Then, we have our equation 4 to be error term equals y minus beta estimate x equation 4. So then we can now apply the principle of OLS, which is for us to minimize the sum of square residual. This is our residual. So the first thing that is required for, of, is to sum. Number two is to square and to minimize. So let's take the sum of equation four and square it. We have summation u squared equals summation y minus beta estimate squared. So, now, the next thing is we minimize equation, let's start this equation 5. Minimize equation 5. Minimizing equation 5 by taking the first derivative with respect to beta cap and equate the answers to 0. So, we have Daba u summation u squared radaba beta cap equals now as we have been doing you differentiate the whole of this first then you differentiate with respect to what is inside with respect to the beta cap and multiply the two together then you equate your answers to zero so we have two summation y minus beta cap x, 2 minus 1, then derivative of this with respect to beta cap is, beta estimate is beta, sorry, is x, and we equate it to 0. So, we have two summation y minus beta estimate x, 2 minus 1, 1, minus x equals to 0. We want to eliminate the minus and the 2. So we have minus 2 summation y beta cap estimate into x equals to 0. Divide both sides by minus 2. So we have this, this. Summation y minus beta estimate then multiply by x equal to 0. So we can multiply x through the function. We have summation this. x times y, we have summation, um, sorry, x, y, minus x times beta estimate times x. We have beta estimate x squared equal to 0. Then we open the bracket. We have summation y x minus beta estimate summation x square equal to zero then we divide both sides or move this to the other side we have summation y x minus or equal to beta estimate summation x squared divide both side by x squared so we have therefore Beta estimate is equal to summation y x divided by summation x squared. So it means that using deviation approach, we can equally use this formula to solve for our beta estimate. That is the coefficient of x in the model. Then how do we get uh, the 
value for alpha. Now we can get the value for alpha using this formula. Now given that y equals alpha plus beta x. Now if we multiply or some both sides of the equation, we have summation y then n x plus beta summation y summation x then now this is estimated so divide equation 2 through by n we have summation y over n equals n alpha divided by n plus beta estimate summation x divided by n so now we have this cancel this but summation y over n equals to what y bar and summation x over n equals to x bar so we can replace this so we have y bar equals alpha estimate plus beta estimate x bar so take this to the other side we have y bar minus beta estimate x bar equals to alpha estimate therefore we can get the value of alpha in a simple linear regression model using y bar minus beta estimate then x bar so we have these two formula in exchange of uh, the previous one we derived through the uh, equation normal equation in the last lecture so what we are going to do now is to take example one example that we can use to explain uh, the two so given the following data on x and y we have y to be equal to 6 11 13 16 and 23 then x is 8 6 5 10 and 15 we are to regress y on x we are to regress y on x now we are going to use the big formula approach then after we we'll use the deviation approach we we'll use the deviation approach so we have y and x 6 11 13 16 23 8 6 5 10 and 15 now the best approach to solving any uh, arithmetic uh, question is for you to be able to write out the formula so in the formula you know what has been given in the question already and what are not given that you need to compute yourself now this is y equals alpha plus beta x plus u we are meant to regress y on x so it means for us to get our alpha cap we need to bring out our formula n summation x summation x summation x square summation y summation y x summation y summation y x with this you can derive your formula so using the uh, matrix approach through which we did that the other time we have summation y 
multiply by summation x squared minus summation y x times summation y. This times this and this times this divided by n summation x squared minus summation x all squared. Then you have the beta estimates. Let's give allowance for the computation. So we have n summation y x minus summation y summation x divided by n summation x squared minus summation x all squared. Now it is glaring from what has been given that we have if we sum this we get our summation y if we sum this we have summation x so in that case we need what summation y x we need to compute for y x then we need to compute for x square so let's sum this we have 6 plus 11 plus 13 plus 16 plus 23 is equals to 69 then 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 equals to 44. Therefore, summation y equals to 69 and summation x equals to 49. Now, we do y times x. So, we have 6 times 8, 48. 11 times 6, 66. 16 times 10, 160. 10, 13 times 5, 65. 23 times 15. So then we sum this also. 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 6, 0 plus 6, 5 plus 6, 6 plus 48 gives us 6, 8, 4. Then we take the square of this. We have 64, 36. We have 25. Then we have 100. Then 2, 2, 5. We can sum this also. 2, 2, 5 plus 100 plus 25 plus 36 plus 64 450 so with that we have everything that is needed to uh, compute our alpha estimate as well as the beta estimate except n n is the total number of observations so we have one two three four five or sample size so it means the value of x are given in uh, for five years, for example, and value of y are given for five years. So we have this. Therefore, we can uh, input those things, those figures, to get the value of. So here, summation y is 69 into bracket summation x square 450, then minus summation xy 684 into bracket summation y which is okay n summation x summation x summation x squared then summation y summation y x x squared yeah so there is something wrong with our formula, which we have corrected. Summation y times summation x, then summation y x times x. So now this is summation x, which is 44, divided by 5. Our uh, n is equal to, so summation x square is 450 minus 
summation x all squared. This is summation x 44 squared. Then we have 69 times 450. 3150 minus 684 times 44. 30 96 divided by 5 times 450. 2250. Then 44 squared. 19. 36 then we can solve for that 1936 minus 2250 we have 314 then 31050 minus 30096 954 which is equal to 954 divided by 314 we have 3. 0, 0.38 therefore alpha estimate approximately is equal to 3.04 then we can solve for the second one now we have our n to be 5 then summation y now to be sure Let's uh, cross check the formula. Summation x, n, summation x, y. Then summation x, summation y. Right? We are correct. So we have 5. Summation x, summation y. 6, 8, 4. Minus summation y. 69. Into summation x. 44. Divided by. Uh, we have 5 into 450 minus 44 all squared. So which is equal to 5 times 684 3420 minus 69 times 44 30 36 divided by we have 2250 minus 1936 equals 3420. 384 divided by 314 equals 1.222. Therefore, Beta estimate is 1.222. So, finally, our regression line will be Y estimate equals to 3.04 plus 1.22x. That is our regression line. That is the result of regressing Y on what? on x in that case we can interpret the results to be that a unit increase in x will lead to 1.22 increase in what in the value of y let's take for example our y is equal to quantity supply and our x is equal to price so it means if price is increased by 1 naira it will lead to what 1.22 quantity increase in quantity supply for that particular commodity let's not forget that there is positive relationship between what quantity supply and price so and this result also produced what positive relationship between x and y so now the constant which is the value of the alpha curve is the value of or the quantity of goods of a particular goods and service that will be supplied irrespective of 
the price or why the price is not taken into consideration. For example, when our x is equal to 0, 1.22 into 0, so it means y will be equal to what? 3.04. So, regardless of the price or the effect of the price, it means the producer will still be willing to supply the quantity of this into the market without considering the price. But for the impact of x on y, that the impact of price on y, if the price is increased by one naira, it will cause 1.2 units or quantity increase in uh, the supply for that particular commodity. Now, the next class will look at how we can solve this same question using the deviation approach. And let's not forget that the value of our beta cap is 1.22 and the value of our alpha cap is um, 3.04. So we are expected to get, if not exactly, something very close due to approximation error of this using the deviation approach. Thank you.